Lucy here with Stat Fight Football. This is your week 10. These are the 3.30 games. Jump right in. The world's largest outdoor cocktail party. The Florida Gators and the Georgia Bulldogs. Florida, they look good playing against Missouri. Beat them 41-17. They started slow, but really revved up and looked great. Trask, 345 yards, 4 touchdowns, 1 pick. He's got 18 touchdown passes and only 2 interceptions. He's thrown at least 4 touchdowns in all 4 games this year. Put up 514 yards of offense, defensively three sacks, forced two turnovers. Georgia sque squeaked by Kentucky 14-3. Bennett, not very good, 131 passing, two picks. Demarion Wyatt was pretty good, 136 rushing and a touchdown. Defensively had four sacks, two turnovers. To me, Georgia's way overrated. I'm a Gator fan, but I, Georgia, I mean, they struggle against Kentucky. I'm, Kentucky's okay, but the if number five team should have beaten them by more. Alabama killed them, and the Gator offense is just as good as Alabama's. I think Florida takes this. They may take it big. All right, Houston-Cincinnati, pretty big game in the American Conference. Houston, they lost to UCF 44-21. Clayton Toon, 263 passing, one touchdown, two picks. Defensively, they did have six sacks in the game, had a fumble return for a touchdown. They're going to need to do that against a Cincinnati team that may sneak their way into the playoffs. They're up to, I think, number six or seven, six in the country. They're only two spots out. Um, and Clemson and Notre Dame play this weekend, so that might knock somebody down. Cincinnati, they destroyed Memphis 49-10. Desmond Ritter, 271 passing, three touchdowns and a pick, 41 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Jerome Ford, 116 rushing, two touchdowns. Defensively, they had six sacks. Um, normally, I would say it's defense against offense, but Cincinnati has just destroyed everybody so far, so I think this might be Cincinnati big. All right, Purdue-Wisconsin was canceled. Skip that. Kansas. Oklahoma, Kansas looks terrible. They lost to Iowa State 52-22. Jalen Daniels, meh, 165 passing a pick, 36 rushing and a touchdown. Hit a kick return touchdown there. Oklahoma looked really good against Texas Tech, beat them 62-28. Spencer Rattler, 288 passing, two touchdowns. Theo Weiss, five catches, 105. They put up 559 yards of offense. Forced three turnovers. Oklahoma should have no problem killing Kansas. UTSA and Rice, kind of an interesting USA game. UTSA, they did lose to Florida Atlantic 24-3. Um, Frank Harris, not a very good day overall. 12-26, 109-66 six rushing. Rice, they beat Southern Miss 30-6. Uh, Mike Collins, 233, four touchdown passes. Uh, Yuma Otaviano, 111 rushing. Austin Trammell, seven catches, 143 yards and three touchdowns. Defensively, forced three turnovers. I think this could go back and forth. I'm giving the slight edge, I think, to Rice in this one. They've actually looked good their first couple of games, but this could be a shootout. All right, another CUSA game, Charlotte, Middle Tennessee, another possible shootout. Charlotte, they did lose big to Duke, 53-19. Chris Reynolds only passed for 171 and touchdown, but I think they'll bounce back. Middle Tennessee, a few weeks ago, they beat Rice. And double overtime, 40-34. Astro O'Hara, 333 passing, two touchdowns, 69 rushing yards, and two touchdowns. CJ Windham, seven catches, 109, and a touchdown. Defensively had a fumble for a certain touchdown in that game. I think this is going to go back and forth, but I'm going to give, I'll go with Charlotte as the better overall team. Slight edge there. All right, Maryland and Pan Penn State. Maryland shocked me. They beat Minnesota in overtime, 45-44. Talia Tagovailoa, 394 passing, three touchdowns and a pick, plus 64 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Jake Funk ran for 216 yards in a touchdown. Deshaun Jones, three catches, 103 in a touchdown. Dante Demas, seven catches, 101 in a touchdown. They had 675 yards of offense. I think they're going to need all of that against Penn State. Penn State, they did lose to Ohio State, though, 38-25. to Sean Clifford, 281 passing, three touchdowns in a pick. Jahan Dawson was awesome, eight catches, 144 and three touchdowns. This could go back and forth, but I'm going to give Penn State a little bit of the edge there. But watch out for Maryland. All right, and then Minnesota, Illinois. Minnesota, they lost to Maryland 45-44 in overtime. Tanner Morgan, 189, 189 passing and a touchdown. Mohamed Ibrahim, 207 rushing, four touchdowns. Chris Ottman Bell, four catches, 112 and a touchdown. They missed an extra point in overtime that would have tied it. That made them lose the game. Illinois, they played pretty, pretty tough. 31-24, Corin Taylor wasn't bad. 273 passing, two touchdowns, two picks, plus 32 rushing. Um, they put up 472 yards, but they turn over four times. They can't do that against Minnesota. Defen defensive, they had four sacks, two turnovers. I'm going to go give Minnesota the edge here to get their first win of the season. All right, Texas Tech and TCU. Texas Tech lost to Oklahoma 62-28. to Henry Columbia, 227, two touchdowns and two picks. They had 400 yards of offense, but they turn over three times. 
TCU is a weird, weird team. They beat Baylor 33 to 23, but they were up 30 to nothing at halftime and just kind of coasted. Max Dugan 138 passing and a touchdown. Darwin Barlow 117 rushing and a touchdown. Defensively at five sacks and a punt return touchdown. I mean, this I think this might be pretty even, but I'll give that slight edge to TCU. All right, Fresno UNLV. Fresno beat Colorado State 38 to 17. Jake Hayner 311 passing, three touchdowns. UNLV they lost to Nevada 37-19, but they looked pretty decent. Overall, Max Gilliam, 2 of 7, 2 touchdowns there. Uh, this could be a shootout, but I'll give Fresno State. I think Fresno State's a pretty good team. All right, Oklahoma State and Kansas State. Oklahoma State, they got beat by Texas in overtime, 41 to 34. Spencer Sanders threw for 400 yards, 4 touchdowns, and a pick. Tylen Wallace, 11 catches, 187 yards, 2 touchdowns. They had 537 yards of offense. Only gave up 287 to Texas, but the turnover 5 times, and that was the difference in that game. Defensively had five sacks. Kansas State got blown up by West Virginia, 37 to 10. Will Howard, 184 passing, one touchdown, three interceptions. They only had 41 rushing yards. They turned over three times. I think Oklahoma State will be the one that bounces back in this game and beats Kansas State. All right, Pac-12 game: Arizona and Utah. Arizona's coming off a four and eight season. They have 12 returning starters. Grant Gunnell played some last year. He passed for 12, 39, nine touchdowns, only threw one interception. Wide receiver Brendan School, a grad transfer from Oregon. Utah, coming off 11-3 season, they only have nine returning starters on that team. They were sixth nationally in scoring defense and second in total defense, but they only have two returning starters on that defense. They do have a grad transfer quarterback, Jake Bentley, from South Carolina. It's got a lot of experience there, so that'll help them offensively. This is kind of a weird game, but Utah usually is prepared, even though they have two starters that Kyle Whittingham's a really good coach and should get that defense uh, okay. So I'm going to give a, a slight edge to Utah there. All right, Vanderbilt, Mississippi State. Vanderbilt lost big to Ole Miss, 54-21. Ken Seals, not bad, though. 319, two touchdowns and a pick. Cam Johnson, 14 catches for 97 yards. Mississippi State, that got killed by Alabama, 41-0. Uh, they have not looked good on offense at all. Kylan Hill opted out at running back. I'll go with Mississippi State though to bounce back Vanderbilt. I mean they're not they seem both to be not very good, I'll, but I'll give Mississippi State the benefit of the doubt. Alright, Florida International and UTEP that got canceled. Pitt, FSU, Pitt, they lost a few weeks ago to Notre Dame, 45 to 3. Joey Yellen, terrible game, 10 of 27, 101, 3 interceptions. They only had 162 yards of offense. Florida State, they got killed by Louisville a couple of weeks ago, 48 to 16. Uh, Jordan Travis, not a good game either. 14-32, 141, a touchdown, a pick, plus 47 rushing yards and a touchdown. Both teams are kind of weird this year. I'm going to give the edge to Pitt. Pitt at least does have a pretty good defense, at least uh, normally, before Notre Dame. All right, Western Kentucky and Florida Atlantic. Western Kentucky got blown up by BYU, 41-10. Pigger, 106, passing and a touchdown, not very good. Florida Atlantic beat a decent UTSA team, 24-3. Nick Chauncey, 136 passing and a touchdown plus one rushing. Uh, Malcolm Davis had 115 rushing defensively. They had seven sacks in that game three by Jalen Joyner. I think Florida Atlantic shouldn't have any problem with Western Kentucky uh, during the game. All right, those are the 3.30 games. Check out my other ones for the noon games and prime time. Peace.